Hey guys, got Level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to customize your Twitch channel fully while using mobile. That means your tablet or your phone. I'm gonna be using an Android tablet today, but everything that I'm gonna show is achievable on an iOS tablet. I'm gonna also be using uh, Google Chrome, but any other browser will work. The principle is still the same. So we're gonna go ahead and go on our Twitch channel, okay? It's gonna ask you to open it in the app. Do not do that, so open the browser, go to Twitch. It will most likely bring you to M dot twitch dot tv so top right you're gonna click and scroll down until you see something that says desktop site and this is what you want to click this will enable um, your browser to read twitch as you would read it on a computer technically <laughs> this is all you you need to know because right now you have all the access that a normal desktop computer would have so you have all the options so if you've watched any other of my tutorial you know what to do but go ahead and log in into your twitch account and then click uh, top right and uh, from there you can click on channel to access your customization uh, panel all to <laughs> what am I saying to access your own channel and then you can check out your channel. This is uh, get on my level bot. This is my alternate account. And uh, basically, I'm going to be showing you how to upload a the banners, the panel, the offline image and also the avatar. And of course, I'm going to be showing you how to get free graphics with that. OK, so um, go to gumroad.com slash get level, open a new tab if you have to. And then from here, as you can see, we have a bunch of free, free, free overlays. Uh, there's a couple of ones that are not free, but those are very affordable. The maximum, I only have one pack that's $10. The rest is $5, $2, or 99 cents. And those are full packs, not just for customizing your Twitch face, but also like animated overlays and stuff like that, even for the broadcast. So top right, we're gonna pick one that's free. We're gonna type zero in the price box. It's donation uh, based, so if you want to put a price and pay uh, be my guest please feel free to donate if you want to but if you don't have any money and that's the reason why you're going with this uh, feel free to just type zero in the price box and then click uh, enter your email address and then click get it all right it's gonna bring you here when you click view my content and from there you can either top right download all which I recommend you doing if you want to use everything or you can just go one by one and pick and choose here we're gonna pick a couple of things like avatar banner offline image uh panels and stuff like that because that's only what i need for this demonstration this is what's gonna figure on your twitch channel itself right so here i'm just selecting and typing download uh in the very top of my tablet, you can see I'm seeing those little icons. There we go. In the notification, it's telling me everything that's been downloaded. So right now we're pretty much good. So let's go back to my Twitch channel. All right, how to access the customization panel. Uh, you can see a button here that says customize when you're on your own channel and you're logged in with the right channel. This one right there. But if you don't see that, that's completely fine. You can click on your profile top right and then click on creator dashboard or dashboard all right which will bring you here and then on the left there's a bunch of icons uh, click on the little cogwheel that's preferences and then click on channel that will bring you to your channel preferences and uh, obviously i advise you going through all of this this is for example where you would upload your avatar so you can type uh, upload a profile picture and then type upload photo and basically you go to your camera roll to find wherever you just downloaded all of that by default on tablets or phones it will be the download folder so you might want to check for that but otherwise it's it's somewhere on your phone i don't know your phone please don't ask me where did you download your own stuff <laughs> anyway so we're gonna click upload it's gonna bring us to this like crop uh, resize thing don't crop anything just click okay uh here on the banner it shows you that you can have either a default thing with your name or a custom banner click custom banner and then upload custom banner find the banner image that you just downloaded from gumroad.com slash guy level wait for it to download and then booyah you got a banner uh click save i totally forgot to click save there uh, <laughs> but it's gonna be fine i'm actually doing this voiceover later on because the original audio was horrible because i recorded this on a tablet anyways so here the 
what's it called? The video player banner is what we call the offline image. So we'll, you will go and find the image that says offline and upload it. And uh, right here we have what's called social media links. This is those little links for your social media platforms that shows up near your description. I will show you that a little bit later, but basically you put top row, you put the word that it's going to be clickable and then bottom row you put the actual link it's going to go to you can also mod modify or set up your schedule tab in this uh, um preferences page too and then the streamer shelf is where you show your recommended streamers you basically add people to your auto host list and then it will show on your main page now let's go back to the channel and we're gonna go ahead and see what we already uploaded so that banner and also the profile picture i know the the ones that i downloaded are not necessarily the ones that i put because i already had some on the tablet so i just used those um i was just rushing this thing <laughs> But basically, the, the principle is still the same, all right? So on my homepage here, as you can see, I have nothing really because I don't really stream on... I don't stream at all on this uh, on this account. But if you go to the about, you can see here, there's a description. And on the right side, you will see those social media links I was talking about, okay? The icons are automatic. And at the bottom, I already have some panels, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete them so that I can show you how to add them. So top left, you see that um, edit panels. This is what you would click on to start editing your panels. You can scroll past those things. Those are extension, pretty much publicity or whatever. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove all the panels that I already have. How to remove a panel, you click the remove button and then you click OK. And um, here I'm going to do that until there's no panels left. And then I will be left with one uh, fake panel <laughs> that with a big plus I'm gonna click on it and then it's gonna ask me if I want an image or text panel or an extension of course we're going for image panel here now as you can see top row there's something that says panel title um, you might be inclined on typing something in there do not type anything because the image that we're gonna upload already says what it is so if you're gonna upload a panel that says about you don't need to type about on top of it okay and then make sure you don't crop it at all it might crop it automatically make sure you select everything and then click submit submit is the button that you want to click if you want to save we're going to click plus on that second panel add an image or text panel add an image tap to upload an image find our image <laughs> and then um upload that image um uncrop it or uncrop it select select it all and then click submit to save it right right now if you want the image to be clickable there's that little part that says uh link so i'm gonna copy the link to my gumroad.com slash get level for example make sure you you have the whole https column slash slash in there to make sure it works i'm gonna click submit and then um that will then be a clickable link so if you're having a donate button, for example, uh, this is where you would put your donate page link, right? Okay. So uh, technically, that's pretty much all you need to know when it comes to tablet editing. I have other videos. You can click on that chat tab to see your, off your offline image if you are not streaming and also not hosting anyone. And as you can see, it uploaded uh, perfectly. I have a video on every single little thing that you can customize on Twitch. I recommend you seeing that, uh, especially since now I just shown you how to get the full website from mobile. Every other tutorial that has to do with the Twitch website or any other website uh, themselves are applicable on mobile. That means on your phone and also your tablet. So as usual, follow me on social media, follow me on Twitter. If you have any questions about streaming, I have a Discord link in the description as well. And uh, of course, if you're looking for some dope graphics to make your Twitch look professional, go to gumroad.com slash get level. Most of them are free, as you can see, and it's super easy to apply, even on your phone or a tablet. But that being said, let me know if you want to see more mobile focused uh, tutorials. I think that was kind of fun. It was kind of janky recording with my tablet, but still, um, other than that, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go out there, make me proud. Guy level out.